Oh, right guys, today we are gonna be reacting to the hidden Russian city that blew my mind. Nixty Novgorod. Jump in and see what's going on. So I receive a lot of comments from people in the videos that tell me to leave Moscow because Moscow isn't Russia, even though it's the capital. And they tell me, go to the smaller cities, go to the smaller towns, show us the real Russia. And I do actually quite a bit. Um, unfortunately, I'm constantly rebuilding accounts because even though I don't talk about politics or have community guideline violations, they don't want you to know that, you know, that misconception that a lot of people have um absorbed from hollywood films from 30 years ago about how you know the soviet union looked or how russia looked in the early years of the russian federation they think that russia doesn't look like this but i haven't been to a town or city that i didn't love they all have their own beautiful charm even those that aren't the absolute most gorgeous you know sometimes it's like going from new york city moscow city uh, absolute be beauty, but clean, no rats. <laughs> Actually, I've seen one, I'm going to be honest, um, to the Appalachians. That's sometimes what it's like in Russia. And these are towns that people just don't even live in anymore. Maybe they were a community that mined or did something with uh, natural resources in the area. The people left after the Soviet Union fell or the Soviet Union decided not to have the you know people living in the town and relocated them. There are places like that have been completely abandoned, of course. And unfortunately you have vloggers who come to Russia and they only show you these places and they give you this misconception, like Hollywood films of old, that this is what all of Russia looks like. Mm -hmm. But you've seen me travel even to, you know, the, the new territories everywhere I go, has its own amazing people cultures, foods, etc. This is real Russia, I guess you could say. You're about four hours away from Moscow, one hour by plane, four hours by train. And Nizhny is one of my favorite cities here in Russia. Definitely. If you, if you wanted to come from the United States out of the 30 or 40 cities I've traveled to, I think Nizhny is definitely the most family-friendly city. And even though Moscow is super safe, Nizhny is like on a completely different level of safe. And it would be, I think in my personal opinion, a fantastic place to raise children. You have museums, you have restaurants, you have all the, you know, big city, um, you know, uh, infrastructure that you would have like in Moscow, St. Petersburg, but it's on a much smaller level, like 1.2 million people live That's here. That's a lot. Um, That's a lot. So it would definitely be an amazing place. Plus there's so many jobs in the IT sector. Uh, there's a lot of industries here, automobile production, et cetera. So for in places of employment, uh, if you work in IT, something in regards to transportation, et cetera, this would probably be a great place and I often get asked about fishing um, so here there are two rivers you can see here the Volga and I'm not quite sure what the other one's called and they connect here in this body of water and there are fishermen always fishing I was here during the winter last winter and the ice or the water was completely frozen and they would drill through the ice and they were ice fishing First time I ever saw that, just all these little like huts with ice fishermen. This is one of the original Orthodox churches here in Nizhny. It's under renovation, uh, Stroganov Church. And the fathers during the Soviet Union were able to protect the church uh, from destruction by the Soviet party. And behind you, the view there 
And let's look at the Onion Dome, as it's referred to. Wow. And now we're going to go inside. We have to be quiet inside, so we're going to be doing some whispering. Let's flip the camera around and show you what I'm seeing. This is a little, so this is a little convenience store in the church. Okay. Wow, well, actually, the majority of these icons I have uh, seen in Moscow or already owned. This is Saint Matrona. Uh, Virginary Seven Arrows. And then we see the original non destroyed. Entrance to church. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's very beautiful. Wow, man. This is so amazing. Look at that. during the summer because it has a higher roof and then this area here with the lower roof would have been used during the Okay. Oh, that's not right. Okay.
Reich, no? Today we are at the Kremlin in Nizhny Novograd. The city was formed in uh, 1221, and then this, where I'm standing right now, was the city fortifications. Originally it was a wooden fortress, and now it is a uh, brick fortress that's been well preserved, as you can see. Let's spin the camera around. So, I mean, shout out to the people of Norgorod, I think the name is. You guys are keeping this thing very clean and nice, man. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys, man. You guys are doing a very good job. Peaceful and beautiful here. Yeah. Hear the birds? <laughs> Amazing. We're still at the Kremlin right now, heading towards the Volga. Nice, beautiful gray day. <laughs> kind of love this weather. What is the cost in rubles to ride the elevator? So like $2 to go up and down? That's not bad. Not oh, bad. great. Not bad. And it looks very beautiful. Yeah, it does look really pretty. Look at that, going right up the hill. Yeah, that's nice. Would you just look at it? The old historic tunnel, the original. Very nice video, man. Very nice video. I'm going to leave the rest in the description down below. Dude, this one of those other cities, man. There's so many cities in Russia that are beautiful. Russia is one of those places that I haven't really discovered a lot. I spend a lot of time just reacting to a lot of a lot of different channels that I have. Germany, Switzerland, all that region. But this is beautiful. I and mean, thank you so much. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this is if you are from this town, let me know in the comment section. It'll be nice to know. In the meantime, guys, I'll see you in the next one.